Welcome back to Advanced Geometry. This is Mrs. Rubright, and we're learning our notes on 8.6, Identify Special Quadrilaterals. So, quadrilateral A, B, C, D has at least one pair of opposite angles congruent. What types of quadrilaterals meet this condition? So, here are some possibilities that have at least one pair of angles congruent. Parallelograms, opposite angles are congruent. A rhombus also has opposite angles congruent. A rhombus is a special type of parallelogram with all equal sides, right? So it makes sense that both of those are included. A rectangle has all right angles, so opposite angles or, or um, same side and sides, consecutive interior angles are congruent, right? So that definitely meets the requirements. And so does a square, which is a special type of rectangle. And then when we have our kites, we do have one set of congruent angles on kites, one set of congruent opposite angles on kites. So all of these different shapes do satisfy the requirement of one pair of opposite angles being congruent. What is the most specific name for the quadrilateral A, B, C, D? A, B, C, D. So let's look at this. What do we know? We know that it's diagonals are bisected. If we know that it's diagonals are bisected, what do we know about it? Is it a parallelogram? Is it a square? Is it a rhombus? Is it a rectangle? What do we know? Which one has diagonals that are bisected? It is a parallelogram. We don't know. If all if all sides are equal, we don't know. So we don't know if all sides are equal. So we don't know if it's a square or a rhombus. We don't know anything about its angles to know if they're 90 degrees or not, right? So we don't know if it's a rectangle or a square. All we know is that when diagonals bisect each other, it's called a parallelogram. We can't assume anything. We can't assume anything about the lengths of the sides or the degrees of the angles. All we know is that the diagonals bisect each other, and by theorem 8.10, that tells us that it's a parallelogram. Rectangles, rhombuses, and squares are also parallelograms. However, there's no information given about the side lengths or the angle measures of ABCD, so you cannot determine whether it is a rectangle, a rhombus, or a square. So this is just the answer going from the previous page. Is enough information given in the diagram to show that the quadrilateral PQRS is an isosceles trapezoid? Explain. Yes, there is enough information, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Do these two add to 180? Is 106 plus 74 180? Yes. It is. So if same side and sides or consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then we know, yes, this is parallel. So this right here, being that it's a quadrilateral, quadrilaterals are 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 times 180 is 360. If these add up to 180, then these would have to add up to 180, equaling the whole 360. So with these being parallel, these have to be supplementary. This has to be 106. And all four of these measurements do add up to 360, so we know we're good. This is an isosceles trapezoid. The base two angles are equal. All right, this is theorem 8.15, 8.15. Quadrilateral DEFG has at least one pair of opposite sides congruent. What types of quadrilaterals meet this condition? At least one pair of opposite sides congruent. At least one pair of opposite sides congruent. It could be a what? It could be a rectangle and a square, right? A rectangle and a square, a rhombus, an isosceles trapezoid. Anything else? Parallelograms, because a lot of what I just listed are parallelograms. We have parallelograms, rectangle, square, rhombus. This, I would say, is not true unless it's an isosceles trapezoid. This would have to say isosceles trapezoid. So this is a typo. It must say isosceles trapezoid. 
Give the most specific name for the quadrilateral. Explain your reasoning. These are equal, and these are equal. This is a what? It's a kite. It's a kite. You're just used to seeing it more like this. But this thing is a kite. These angles will be equal. These are equal, and these are equal, and that is called a kite. There are two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. Give the most specific name for the quadrilateral. Explain your reasoning. All right, so we have these parallel, um, one set of parallel sides. So alternate interior angles are congruent. If this is 75, this is 75. If this is 80, this is 80. Okay, um, what else do we know? We have one set of parallel sides. Are the base two angles equal in either of these? No. So it is not isosceles, but it is a trapezoid. It is a trapezoid. There is one pair of parallel sides, but they don't have congruent base angles, so it is not an isosceles trapezoid. Give the most specific name for the quadrilateral. Explain your reasoning. So the diagonal bisects, right? The diagonal is bisected. And we have one set of, pair of equal sides, one pair of equal sides. What is this thing? Huh? You're right. It's a quadrilateral. There's not enough information to say anything. It's just a quadrilateral. That's it. We don't know anything else. We don't know about its angles. We don't know about this other set of sides. So we don't really have enough information to specify what it is other than the fact that it is a four-sided object that we don't know enough about. A student knows the following information about quadrilateral MNPQ. MN is parallel to PQ. MP is congruent to NQ. And angle P is congruent to angle Q. The student concludes that it's an isosceles trapezoid. Explain why the student cannot make this conclusion. Let's think about this. So MNPQ. MNPQ. MN is congruent to P, Q. M, P is congruent to N, Q. Diagonals are equal. Angle P is congruent to angle Q. The student concludes that it's an isosceles trapezoid. Why can they not make this conclusion? Because if the diagonals are, con are, bi are congruent, right? If the diagonals are congruent, can it be an isosceles trapezoid? What if these are 90 degrees here? If these are 90, is it a trapezoid? If these congruent angles were 90, then wouldn't it make it a rectangle or a square? And with the, bi and with the diagonals being equal... If your diagonals are equal and these are equal, what if it's a, like, wouldn't that make it a square? So you can't say it's an isosceles trapezoid because you don't know if it's like a rectangle or a square, right? Because what if they're 90? You don't know. And that is our entire lesson on 8.6, identifying special quadrilaterals. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. Um, Feel free to watch all of our lessons on Chapter 8 and subscribe to our channel if you like it. Thanks so much and have a great day.